My body did not snap back at all after having Noah. I felt, if I'm completely honest with you, I felt like I was a big round oompa loompa and I thought that was it. I'm stuck like that forever. I had this really amazing like plan after I had Noah that I'm gonna like go to the gym and eat really really healthy and really eat mini really minimalistic and just shed all this weight and then I'm gonna just be back to how I was before and even skinnier. And then I had Noah and then I realised that actually that's not how it went at all. And now I know that me thinking that was just absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, it was my first baby. I didn't know how I was going to feel after. I didn't know... I didn't know what my body was going to have gone through. I didn't know what my body... How my body was going to feel like after giving birth to little Noah. And, you know, like I've said before, I don't regret having Noah at all. I don't regret anything that my body's gone through because anything, it makes me stronger. One thing I will say is... I think there's this thing where all pregnant women are expected just to, you know, snap back afterwards, like, really quickly, and if you don't, then, you know, you're looked at really badly. That's how I felt that it's been kind of looked at anyway. So when I look back at my pictures of when I had Noah now, like, on, on, on the birthday of him, weeks, months before, I noticed how much weight I put on, and a lot of it was water weight, but at the same time, a lot of it was weight as well and I didn't overeat, I didn't eat anything bad, in, I didn't in particularly overeat in any way. I just put on weight and you know that's just how my body... I've heard if you have a girl the the your stomach the weight kind of stays on your tummy more than the whole of your body but I don't know if that's true I don't want to say that for sure. I'm not going to lie by the end of my pregnancy I felt really big and I felt really fat and I did start feeling really insecure but I had to keep telling myself okay I'm having a baby like people know I'm pregnant I know I'm pregnant you know let's just use this time to absolutely enjoy the fact that I'm just about to have my little baby boy and it's just the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me and that ever will happen to me apart from when I have my next child, which I won. So, you know, here I am today. My body is basically, and I say basically because there's a few little bits here and there, like my tummy, it's a little bit looser than it was before, but goddamn, I have worked my ass off after being pregnant I've been going to the gym and bearing in mind I have been on and off I haven't been like some maniac going to the gym like twice three times a day eating hardly anything I've been like eating like a normal person you know I've been eating a balanced diet yes I've been very cautious about what I eat and I have been trying to portion my food better so you know my stomach is at the size it should be and I've just been trying to eat healthy eat balanced go to the gym every day at least once. I go to the gym once a day. You wouldn't see me going twice a day, if I'm honest, with a baby and the life that I have and like most mums probably have. But no, I go to the gym once a day in the morning. That's when I feel most motivated and it sets me up for the day. But I didn't go straight to the gym after having Noah. I, my body felt like it went for a car crash and I didn't expect that at all. My body did not snap back and it's, like I said, there's still tweaks here and there. You know, people might not notice it, but I do. And I think I wanted to talk about post-pregnancy body because it's not spoken about enough. But a lot of people talk about the depression and mental health during the pregnancy, but after, I've had post, um, postpartum depression. Um, I'm diagnosed with depression anyway and anxiety and borderline personality disorder. <laughs> Can't say the word. Borderline personality disorder. Yeah, so I have those three conditions that I have been diagnosed with and, you know, so for me, was I, did I kind of prepare myself for being a bit depressed and down during pregnancy. Yes, I did. I was aware that I was going to and I kind of prepared myself for that. I didn't prepare myself for after having a baby. I didn't pre prepare myself for what my body was going to go through. It felt like my body had gone through a massive battle, a car crash, and 
you know, the thought that I was going to snap back is just madness because my body, I don't know about everyone else's body, but I'm, I'm pretty sure like I've spoken to other mums, um, I spoke to my sister and, pe you know, women that have had babies and they said, look, your body does not snap back unless you have um, particular surgery or stuff done, tummy tucks and stuff. Obviously, your body's going to go back a lot quicker because it's surgery, it's a procedure, you know, that's what it's there for, but naturally I'm talking about, I haven't had anything, surgery, anything done to my body, and you know, this is how I look like, I am going to show you my whole body, so I'm going to pull down my pants, I'm not going to pull down past my uh, Nicoline, obviously, so you can see my stomach, like I, I can still see that my stomach is slightly more out and a bit more looser than I would like. I've just put a bikini on guys so you know you're not you no know, one freaks out. <laughs> My back goes in quite a lot here which I've always had an issue with so when I do exercise I have to be very careful of that. Um, let me know if anyone else has got that. This is my body, I'm not breathing in, uh, that is how it looks after, no it is five months now so this is my body at five months. Um, and you know I'm very proud, I'm very proud of my body, I've worked hard to get here, yes my stomach is still going down slightly but god damn has it come a long way, I don't know why I keep saying god damn, the weight has come off my sides a lot, I find that I put weight on here on my uh, love handles quite, quite easily, that's gone quite a lot, I've been doing quite a lot of cardio um, and trying to do exercises that, that kind of tone up this area. So yeah, that's my stomach and I think for me, my stomach was the thing that was ha like I've been most insecure about because Noah stretched my stomach so much, I was like, oh my god, how am I going to get my stomach, you know, flat again? But before having Noah, I had in my head that I was just going to do exercise and it was snap back. I've had to work so hard to get to this stage that it is now and I'm still going, I'm still trying to lose a little bit of weight, slim up slightly and yeah, like after having Noah I did have postpartum depression like I said and I was really insecure about my body and you know, I just felt really big, I felt overweight, I'd never been that size ever before in my life, I've always been quite small, I've never had a weight problem, so for me it was, and I can imagine for a lot of other women, it is a shock, and it's like, your body's never been through anything like this before, so, especially when it's your first child, so yeah, my body did not snap back at all, and I'm, when I have my next baby, which I want, and I, you know, it hasn't scared me off at all, I will go through anything to have another little baby and give Noah a brother or sister and he's my little miracle, I don't regret it at all but wow the body it goes through a lot having a baby and if anyone thinks I'm just preparing any mothers that may be pregnant now or looking to be pregnant in the future you know it's hard work, it's I say it's a battle for your body and don't please don't think that naturally your body's just going to snap back because it's it doesn't it it does not your body has to adapt your body has to recover i think it takes like 6 months for your body actually to recover from giving birth so i'm not even at 6 months yet and i've been going quite hard in the gym and you know not not pushing myself you know to the max i've been you know easing it in slowly and i i finally find now that i'm working out similar to how i used to so I, that was a bit of a shock to me, but I'm just so happy that my body is getting there and and I'm just feeling mentally more confident, you know, going to the gym and working out and losing a bit of weight on the areas that I did put on weight during pregnancy makes me feel mentally so much more centred and confident and positive and you know it's made me kind of want to do this video. Previously to having Noah I was a size 8 slash 10 but on my bottom I could fit into size 6s so I was quite a mix because my breasts are not particularly small. I went to the bra shop the other day and she said that my breasts were like an F and I was like what? Oh my god I used to be a double D. So yeah my breast area is large so this would be 
probably a 12 now just because of my breast area I can fit into tens and my bottom part I would say I would say my bottom half now is a 10. I feel like my hip area has stretched slightly. I feel like my rib cage area around here has stretched a little bit. I'm gonna go get bra fitted uh, probably next week. So when that happens, I will let you know what size I am. I used to be 32 double D. She said I'm an F. So I believe I might have gone up to a 34. I don't know. But I do feel like after pregnancy, my body has kind of gone out slightly whether it will go back I don't know I don't know the science about that but that's how that's how my body's changed the way I see it as I'm 23 years old you know I got pregnant when I was 22 if I was going to get pregnant when I was 30 or you know any any age your body's going to go through what it has to go through to have the baby so I've just accepted that and the fact that my body is almost back to how it was before. It's never gonna be exactly the same. And I think that's really important to say to people is to not give anyone false hope. Your body's never really exactly the same. Your body's never really exactly the same. And it does go through so much shit <laughs> to get that baby out. But I don't mind because it's almost, it's almost like it was before. And I embrace it now. I feel more curvaceous. And I'm just, yeah, I'm liking it. and. Do you know what? Sometimes I'm just proud about sitting here with my belly. <laughs> the body's getting there and that's what matters. My legs, I found that my there's a lot of weight that kind of came on the inner thigh area and that was annoying. So that I've been working hard on and I finally got that little thigh gap. But I did find after having Noah there was a lot of weight there. But my leg wise, I do feel like I'm getting there. And I am trying to tone them up and I'm happy with it. My arms kind of went back really easily actually. That was the least difficult area to kind of get back to how it was before. I don't feel like my arms are particularly, particularly uh, any kind of bigger or have changed. I find like my breasts have quite a lot though. They just look so much bigger. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video guys, just a little chit chat about my body and kind of showing you it really so there's no kind of lies that I kind of snap back I'm now a size 6 again because that's never going to happen and I don't really care if I'm not a size 6 again, it doesn't bother me because I've got my little man, my little buddy Noah so... I'm happy about that. Follow me on Instagram, Diana Christina Official. Follow me on Twitter, Danny underscore Christina. My blog is going to be live soon, so I will tell you what the name will be. Like this video, comment if you like, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see, guys. See you in my next one. Bye.